friends, welcome back. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm Coco, and we do a little something on this channel every Monday called Makeup Mondays, where we talk skincare, hair care, and beauty. I've been seeing a lot going around the internet, especially on Instagram, about Walmart beauty. And I figured Walmart and beauty, my two favorite things, why wouldn't I go and check it out? You guys know I love my products. I like to look cute, but I love to save a cute coin. So it just made sense for me to go to my Walmart and buy a few things. And of course, I had to come back and share it with you guys. So disclaimer, this is not an ad. This is not a sponsored video. Walmart, call me. But I did purchase every product myself. Everything is under $5, except for two or three products. You're welcome. Every product that I feature in today's video will be listed on the blog, including a link. So make sure you check the description box below so you can find that link and figure out what products you wanna buy. Before we get started, if you are joining us for the first time, become an official member of the family. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And of course, we never want you to be late to the reunions. So make sure you tap that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Now, I have my products. I have my receipt. Let's get started. Walmart has a bunch of brands under it, smaller brands that it manages, and one of them is Equate Beauty. So I wanted to make sure I picked up a few items from the Equate Beauty line. The first one being the cleanser. Clarifying charcoal cleanser. It gives a deep clean and purifies your pores. It's oily free and specifically for oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I wanted to try a charcoal product or charcoal cleanser in my skincare routine. This one is supposed to be comparable to the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. And this 6.77 ounce bottle was $3.44. Yep, that's what I said. Next up, we have also by Equate Beauty and Astringent. If you haven't tried an astringent, what it is basically, it's especially beneficial to oily skin because it helps reduce the oil in your skin, but it also removes bacteria from the skin and it's great, especially if you're someone like me who wears makeup pretty often and sometimes falls asleep in it. I know, don't kill me. But this just makes sure that there are no traces of makeup in the skin. Being that I don't have oily skin, I have normal to dry skin, this is not something that I would use consistently in my skincare routine. This is something that's more like a once every two weeks or once a week type of situation. Next, also by Equate Beauty, I have a moisturizer. This is the Oil-Free Ultra Gentle Facial Moisturizer. This one is for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but when I'm trying new products, Typically, if there is a sensitive skin option, I'll go for it. And this one is hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, fragrance and alcohol free, and dermatologist tested. And this product is comparable to the Neutrogena oil-free moisture sensitive skin. I like how Equate Beauty products, the packaging tells you what other brand products, maybe something more well-known or higher end, has similar qualities to their products. And the moisturizer was one of the products that's slightly over $5. It was $6.27 for the four fluid ounce bottle. We cannot talk skincare, especially in the colder, drier months without talking face masks. Walmart has a huge, I mean insane selection of face masks. And while I'm guilty of not being as consistent with face masks as I should, I do love a good face mask. And when I saw that these were $2.50 each, I had to grab a few. So the first one that I picked up is actually by Garnier, and it is this Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. This is the super hydrating mask. It's mattifying, and it deeply hydrates, balances skin, and visibly reduces pores. It has green tea and hyaluronic acid, and it is for normal to combination skin. As I told you guys, I do have normal to dry skin, so this is more up my alley. It says that it delivers 24 hour long lasting hydration, and you can see results even after one use. The next mask is this Revive Gold Sleeping Mask. So this is an overnight mask, which means you just apply it. You can apply it on its own after washing your face or with a serum or moisturizer. Just apply it to your face, you leave it on all night, and you rinse it off with water the next morning. Also an overnight mask, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Gel Mask. This has hyaluronic acid as well, and it deeply hydrates for smooth, supple skin. So it comes in this pod, 
kind of looks like the curing coffee pot. Probably great for traveling or if you want to just put this in a small makeup bag and take it with you if you're going somewhere. Again, it was $2.50. The next few masks that I'm showing you guys, I actually purchased mostly for the look of them, the packaging. Hopefully they still work out as well as they're supposed to. The first one is also by Sue, and this is the Unicorn Glow Hologram Mask. Hello. <laughs> so this is a detoxifying and brightening mask. It is actually a double-sided black charcoal and hologram sheet. So again, another charcoal infused product. And again, it's detoxifying and brightening the skin. The next two masks that I purchased are by a brand called Maskology. This first one is the Wild Rose Hydro Gel Gold Mask. It's for all skin types, so anyone can use it. And it is formulated with ingredients such as gold, collagen, and rose extract. Again, also by Maskology is a color change mask. So this is actually a three-step color change gold kit. It comes with an exfoliating cleanser, which purifies and removes excess oils, dead skin cells, and makeup. It has a peel-off mask, which deep, gives a deep cleanse and unclogs the pores. And then the moisturizer, which hydrates for smooth, supple skin. Like I said before, I have been wearing makeup a lot more often recently, and I haven't been taking it off like I should. I've been sleeping in it a little bit, I'm sorry. But I've decided to give myself a little bit of a loophole or a cheat code and purchase some facial cleansing masks so that I can keep them in my bedroom, on my makeup table, or by my bedside even. So this is by the brand Yes2. I love the Yes2 cucumber line. I think it's amazing. But this is actually the Yes2 tomatoes line. And this is the detoxifying charcoal facial mask. As you can see, this is kind of a theme, a charcoal theme going on for skincare. $4.27. Now, another basic product, but one that was over $5 to go with the astringent. And just because I feel like we always need this product, I got some cotton rounds. This is by Swiss Burst. And it's a value pack, so you get three 100 count rounds. So 300 all together. And this was $6.27. I've been really into bar soap lately, so when I saw this product, I had to have it. It's by Nubian Heritage, and it's an Indian hemp and Haitian vetiver, I think that's how you say it in English at least, Haitian vetiver bar soap. It's for softening and moisturizing, and, and it's made with neem oil. If you haven't heard of neem, please, 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 please look up the benefits. It's amazing. It comes in various forms. You can get it in your toothpaste. You can get it as a powder to put in smoothies and shakes. You can also use the oil for various things. It's really great for the body, both inside and out. So I am excited to try this. This is a shea butter soap as well. So it should leave the skin really soft and smooth. And this bar was $4.47. To house my bar, I got this Hequate Beauty soap holder, which is just a plain square soap holder, which is 97 cents, and I actually purchased two of these. The other one is in my shower at the moment. The last skincare product that I got is also over $5. It is this Neutrogena body oil. This is my favorite, absolute favorite body oil to use. Better than baby oil, better than anything. It leaves your skin feeling extremely moisturized and supple and soft and smooth and sexy. The only thing that I don't like about this oil is the scent. It has a very perfumey, very distinct perfumey, um, rich church lady, slightly older but classy vibe. It sounds like it could be a great thing, but when it's, you're using it consistently and it's kind of an overpowering scent, it's not the greatest. So I just paired this with my Bath and Body Works, one of the stronger scents, and it works perfectly fine and still leaves your skin amazingly smooth. Moving on from skincare, I couldn't peruse the Walmart beauty aisles and not come home with some makeup products. Hello. So let's talk makeup tools first. These Swispers blending mini sponges. These are supposed to be like the beauty blender mini sponges. I take my concealer all the way up under my eye, but I've noticed recently that I haven't been able to blend the corners as well as I'd like to. So I'm hoping that this will work for that. Of course, this was a fraction of the cost of the Beauty Blender mini sponges. This was $2.98. But I'm hoping that they work maybe not as well as the Beauty Blender sponges, but at least as well as the Real Techniques 
sponges. Next, I wanted to grab a few brushes. You always need some just when your favorites are dirty or you have, you know, maybe you made a mistake in your makeup routine, just want to fix it really quickly without getting product somewhere where product shouldn't be. So I saw this three pack of makeup brushes. This is by Glam and Beauty. It's a three piece brush set. It includes a foundation brush, a contour brush, and an eyeshadow brush. I think this is really cool because it's one of those oval shaped uh, brushes with the, with the handles and it actually tells you what each brush is for on the actual brush. So if you are a beginner, brushes like these are always cool because you know exactly where to put them and what products to use with them. And this brush set was $4.96. Now let's talk actual makeup. So when I was starting out doing my own makeup, I used to love to go to the drugstore and purchase from brands that were affordable but really still gave me enough product and enough pigment for my money. One of my favorite companies to shop from was and still is Wet n Wild, hands down. Wet n Wild over the years has also done a great job of revamping the brand, coming out with new products, new quality, new formula, and working with different celebrities and artists on new lines and new collections. So when I saw their extensive display in Walmart, I had to go back to my roots and get a few things. So one of my favorite products that they have are their eyeshadow palettes. So I purchased three of the eyeshadow palettes. Now these are the ones that come with two transition colors and eight eyeshadows. What I love about Wet n Wild palettes is that they're very beginner, friend beginner friendly. So they often tell you exactly where to put the product. So it tells you actually in the palette that these are the two transition shades. And on the back, they do give you a diagram of where you put the actual eyeshadows. These are actually cruelty free and not tested on animals as well. So the first palette that I got is 757A Nude Awakening. This palette is more right up my alley. It has my typical browns and champagnes. It has like a burgundy, uh, a shimmer shade, matte shade, and a black. 759 Comfort Zone, and this is like your more fun fall colors. Really just more of a dynamic selection of colors in this palette. Rose in the Air. This has like a lilac and magenta. It has orange. It has more of your brighter fall tone. So three palettes, again, that Rose in the Air, Nude Awakening, and Comfort Zone. Great for fall, great for travel, great for beginners. Now, I wouldn't be me and this wouldn't be a haul if I didn't have some highlighters to show you guys. Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is number 333B Gold Golden Flower Crown. And this is my one of my favorite tones for highlights. It's a champagne gold. And it's just a really light color kind of, with kind of like some pink reflex in it. I'm going to swatch for you guys. It's a really pretty color. It's a little frosty. So I would definitely use some setting spray with this. But still a really pretty color. And again, it's like a champagne gold. What's better than one highlight? Three, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighters. They just look so sparkly and fun. Halo Goodbye, which is a pink, super sparkly kind of frosty highlight. And then I purchased Halo Graphic, which is a holographic white, pink purple highlight. I'm gonna swatch these both for you guys. So like I said, Halo Goodbye is a pink frosty highlight. Halo Graphic is a holographic highlight. It's purple. <laughs> so this actually looks like more whitish in the bottle, but when you swatch it, when you put it on, it actually comes off as purple. As I, the more I rub it in, the more purple it gets. These would be really cool as like body highlights, like especially for Halloween, hint, hint. The palettes were $4.68, and the highlights liquid and powder were $4.68 as well. Also by Wet Wild, I don't know what I was thinking with this product because it's definitely not the right color for me, but I picked up the Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and it does have two shades, a highlight and a contour. This is in number 749 Dulce de Leche. They are powder, yeah, no. <laughs> they are a powder, this is probably like a highlight for me. But if it doesn't work for me, it will work for my mom, so that's fine. 
Um, and this just, again, it has the directions of where to put the product, which is really great for beginners. And this contour palette was $3.93. The last product that I purchased from Wet n Wild is a matte lipstick, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the color Nudie Patootie. And it's just a nude lipstick, your typical nude. It actually matches my nail color perfect, which I'm excited about. I really enjoy this nail color. So this is the lipstick right here. Let's just hope that it doesn't dry my lips out. Speaking of matte lipsticks, I had to also try one of my favorite drugstore store brands, ELF or Eyes Lip Space ELF is a great, great, great affordable brand that is in drugstores. They make a range of products and I especially love their brushes. I'm kind of sad that I didn't pick any up, which means I have to go back. But the first product that I picked up from e.l.f. is again a liquid matte lipstick. This is in the color Praline, which is like a reddish brown color. I think this will be really nice in the winter with a dark brown lip liner and maybe a nude color, maybe this nude patootie color in the center. This is supposed to apply creamy and rich with a lasting matte finish and it's enriched with vitamin E. Also from e.l.f. Cosmetics, I purchased another highlighter. <laughs> so I really like e.l.f.'s new packaging as well. It's very sleek, it's very clean, and it keeps it affordable. This is their shimmering highlight powder. This one is in the color Sunset Glow. This is comparable to the Wet n Wild highlight that I just showed you guys in the Golden Flower Crown but it is a much lighter. I think this is the darkest shade that they have. They do have a pearl and then another color before the pearl that is like almost white. Um, but I prefer this one for my skin tone. It's kind of like a brownish champagne color and it's a very light formula. You really have to go in if you want it to show up. But this is great for daytime highlight or if you just don't want to do the most i always do the most never do too much the next makeup product that i got is by a brown girl friendly brand that is in drugstores it's by cover girl and this is one of their cheekers it's number 105 rose silk and it's a dusty rose color i picked this up because my mom said it's my color so mom mom's always right right mom's no best Hopefully this color works for me. And of course, our e.l.f. matte lipstick was $5. And our CoverGirl blush was $3.44. The last makeup product that I purchased is also by a brand that is in drugstores. It's a little bit pricier than I expected and pricier than I would have liked. But I wanted to try a setting powder because I don't have one at the moment. And I wanted to see if one from the drugstore would work. I have tried the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and I really like that one. And I do want to try their new skin tone specific powders, but I picked up the NYX or NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder just to see what this might do for me, if it might work. So I'm hoping that it doesn't provide too much flashback and it's not going to make me look crazy. So we'll see. That is everything that I purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see me try any of these products or your first impressions or a review on them, leave me a comment down below and let me know which one. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, like it, give it a thumbs up so I know that you actually did like it. And you made it this far, subscribe. You might as well, you're already here, join the family. Don't forget to tap that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And of course, as always, whether you're milk cocoa, dark cocoa, whatever kind of cocoa you want to be, you are and will always be a goddess. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.